Hi, if you are looking for a recipe for delicious dinner for all family, you are in the right place. Let's go! We need one whole rabbit divided into large parts and mix of vegetables. The proportions are very preliminary, it's just to show you the idea. If you have the broth, it would be ideal. If not, okay, you may use water. Take the mustard and gently massage your rabbit with it. Uh, I use here a classic Dijon one, you may take uh, your favorite. After that, let it rest in the fridge for at least 30 minutes, but it would be better to leave it for one or two hours. Peel and finely chop the vegetables. Here I take carrots, celery and uh, fennel. Uh, the fennel is optional, maybe you will find hard to find it in your country. Uh, but I love this taste uh, it gives and in France, in south of France, they usually use it uh, to cook rabbits. You may remember for future this combination, celery, carrots and uh, fennel. It's the classic one for Provence cuisine. And another thing which is great about this recipe that you get uh, meat and uh, garnish at the same time. So you have rabbit, you have vegetables and uh, your dinner is almost ready. I usually use this trick to chop everything before starting the preparation and uh, then the process goes very fast if you have everything prepared uh, beforehand. Season the garlic and onion in extra virgin olive oil, not too much. Then we put our rabbit and need to uh, fry it over each side to make it really crusty. It will help to uh, pack all the juices and the flavor of the meat uh, inside of the pieces uh, to make it not boiled but uh, very intensive tasty. You may add some broth or water if the meat intens intensively uh, sticks to the frying pan. It's normal, don't be afraid about it. Then take the rabbit out and set it aside. Put the broth into frying pan. It will help to deglaze all the rest of rabbit and give intensive taste to our dish. Then we put there our vegetables and roast them for some time, about 15 minutes. When the vegetables are half ready, it's time to get back gently our rabbit to them. Then cover it with the vegetable broth and leave on medium fire for one hour until the rabbit becomes soft.
check if the rabbit is soft. Uh, you may mix it a little and leave for another half of an hour if needed. Here it is. Perfect, intensive and very tasty one. You may serve it with mashed potatoes, couscous, pasta, whatever you like. Don't forget to put the like if you enjoyed this recipe. Subscribe and see you soon!